Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Abby and Mandy's Adventures in Odyssey podcast. And today, Mandy couldn't be here, so stepping in for Mandy is my brother Matthew. Thanks, Abby. Today I'm helping Abby interview Phil Lawler, voice of Dale Jacobs, and co-creator for Adventures in Odyssey. Alright, question number one. What kind of stuff did you do when you first helped co-create Adventures in Odyssey? Creating Adventures in Odyssey, I was working on a lot of different things um, for focus on the family. And um, so I was doing a lot of different kind of writing, but I was hired to create more radio dramas for them because they had done a couple of them and had had some success with them. And so um, when we first started, uh, Steve Harris and I first started uh, sitting down to try to figure out what we were going to do. Um, I started by creating um, a whole town and the whole main character of, of the, the town of the show, who was John Henry Whitaker, and I wanted to create the whole history of the place. So for a long time, for you know a couple of weeks, that was all I did. All I did was just sit down and think up what the town was like, and then what Whitson was like, and then what John Avery Whitaker was like, his whole background and his whole history, and the whole history of the town and the whole history of all the people in the town. So that's kind of basically what I was doing for a, a, a while. I was, you know, just a couple of weeks, maybe in about a month. Wow, okay. very neat, very neat. Cool. Okay, here's question number two. Have you ever had a time where you go to play a character you've already played before and you forgot what voice you used? <laughs> yeah, yes, actually that happens all the time. Um, in fact, that's kind of frequently what happens with, uh, with voice actors. Um, what happens is that you, you, you would, sometimes you'll go in for an audition or you'll go in for uh, even to record a, a piece and then it'll be a long, long time before you actually either play the character that you auditioned for or it'll be a long, long time before you do that character again. And so in between times, you, you can forget because you do a lot of different kinds of voices. You know, if you're a voice actor, you come up with a lot of different kinds of voices. And um, so it's always handy for the people who are doing the recording to have uh, a reference for you so that way you can kind of hear what you did and they play it for you all the, you know, they'll play it back for you and then you can kind of get it into your head and into your ears and into your throat again and then uh, go on from there. Most of the big characters though that you play, the ones that you do a lot, uh, you, you don't really forget those, so. Okay. All right, are you still helping write writing episodes for Adventures in Odyssey? Um, currently I am, I, I'm not, I haven't been working really on the writing side for several years now. Um, well, we've all, all of the, all of the major and main writers for the series have taken breaks frequently throughout the, the, the course of the series because, um, when, when you have to come up with a sh brand new show every week or a brand new album or things, it, it, it can get very draining on you mentally. So you kind of have to need, to, you know, you need to sort of take breaks every now and then. I've taken a really long break, but uh, we're, we're, we're talking right now about my coming back and doing some more scripts. Um, so that's, that's all in, in, in the talking stages right now, and it's all in the works. So hopefully it'll happen. We'll see. Okay. Um, question number four. How did you get started in acting? Well, um, believe it or not, one of the first things that I ever did when I was acting, acting-wise, performance-wise, that I considered to be a public performance was at Vacation Bible School when I was a really little, oh. a two and a half, three years old. And um, uh, we had a whole class of uh, kids, you know, who came up and, and at the end of the week on that particular, the way we used to do, the way Vacation Bible School was done when I was a kid is that you had kind of a performance at the end of the week for all the parents so the parents could see what you learned in that class that whole week and uh, at Vacation Bible School. So, um, and I was really small, I remember that. I think I was about three, three years old, maybe three, four years old. But um, I had this ability to be able to, um, be able to basically stand up and recite stuff and um, if somebody told me something, I could hear it, and I could remember it, and then I could spit it back out. So I memorized things really, really easily ever since I was really little. And so they gave me a, a whole speech to say, and so I got up and, uh, and I said it in front of everybody, and um, they were all looking at me, and so I kind of sighed and made a face, and everybody laughed, and I thought, I'm hooked. Yay, 
yeah, I'm a, I want to be an actor. That's that's fun stuff. Very nice. Are there any characters in Odyssey that are harder to write for than others? Um, I don't think that there are any that are harder to write for. I think it all depends on the needs of the story. Um, so, no, I wouldn't say that there are some that are harder to write for. There are some that are more fun, I think, to write for than others. Um, it, it, it's, it's uh, you know, Odyssey is all about teaching positive Christian values. And in order to do that, you quite often have to set up uh, somebody who's not so Christian and so and, 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 and has bad values as a, as a counterpoint. And so it's quite fun to sometimes get into the head of the bad character and write that stuff for a little while. But you don't want to stay there for very long. Um, so I don't think it's necessarily a matter of harder or, or, or easier to write for individual characters. I think it, it really boils down to just the story that you're telling and how, how difficult or easy that story is to tell. Because some stories are harder to tell than others, uh, um, and some stories are easier to tell than others. All right. Okay. Um. Question number six. Which did you like better? Did you like acting on the show or writing on, writing for the show? Um, <clears throat> well, I think I like writing for the show better. I think I've always liked writing better than acting. Um, I, 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 it's a, acting is a very close second. Uh, I really enjoy acting. I enjoy uh, making up voices and bringing an interpretation to the characters and the roles, but when you're an actor, you're saying somebody else's words, and uh, as a writer, um, you get to you get to create the words and, and the whole um, situation in which those words are spoken. So I think I, I, I for me, I like the writing uh, better than I like the acting. Okay. All right. Question number seven. Have you ever had something happen in the studio that you will always remember? Oh yeah, there's several things that have happened in the studio that I will always remember. Um, there, there, there's just just moments um, with Hal Smith and Walker Edmiston and Will Ryan and Katie Lee um, and all of those wonderful the wonderful actors Bernard, uh, the, the, the Dave Madden played Bernard Walton and Harley Bear and all the great actors that we have used over the years and that have been a part of the series over the years. Um, I have individual memories, wonderful, wonderful memories of all of the things that I'll never, ever forget. Uh, uh, Alan Young, the one that stands out in Alan Young is um, when we, the episode of Question About Tasha. Um, there's a whole speech in, in that um, show that talks about how uh, Jack Allen um, married a woman who was not a Christian and then she had a, a severe accident and when she died but just before she died she couldn't speak and he, he wanted to pray with her and bring her to Christ and she couldn't respond so he, he doesn't know um, if, if she you know he, he, he said I, I don't know I'll have to wait until, until I die until I go to heaven to find out if she actually accepted Jesus and it was a very emotional speech that he gave and in the studio at that point um after after uh, Alan Young had delivered that speech, he had to stop for a, a while because th that really happened to him, and I didn't know that that really happened to him. That, that was something that happened to him in real life, a similar situation. And uh, it kind of took him by surprise, and he got very, very emotional and very quiet, and we just kind of had to stop for a little while so that um, we could all reflect on that. And that, that, that was a really, really uh, unbelievable moment for me and, and I think for everybody in the room. So. Sure, absolutely. There, there's more than I can, more than I can, more than I can remember. There's so, so many of them. Yeah. Okay. Neat. Um, here's the last question: Is there any chance that you will start making Jungle Jam and Friends again? Well, um, we made one. Uh, we did a live show about two years ago that aired last Christmas. It was a Christmas show. Uh, we gathered, we had uh, invited some people and had an audience and did a uh, live Jungle Jam uh, radio show last uh, for, for, for Christmas, and that aired last year. And uh, I, I would love to make more uh, Jungle Jam 
<laughs> program. Uh, I, we're all kind of busy doing other things right now, but you know, there's always hope, and maybe we can do it in the future. Um, it, it would be a whole lot of fun to do so. I'll tell you what I, I, I am doing right now. Uh, uh, Will Ryan and Katie Lee and I have our own podcast that we have just started doing. Oh. We're at uh, 10, 10 episodes, and I'm in the midst of uh, kind of editing them. I want them to be a certain length, so I'm kind of cutting things down. And so uh, just uh, everybody should be looking for that because that's going to happen real soon. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks we'll start uh, putting those up and letting people download them and hear them. And we've had a blast doing them. They've been a, a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, so it's just, uh, just listen for those. And we're, it's, 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 it's us talking about a lot of different things and having fun. And uh, there's also going to be a lot of Jungle Jam type sketches and, and skits and fun stuff that come along with that. So uh, keep, keep, keep your ears peeled because we're coming. And you guys, you know what you can do? Um, one of the things that we're doing with our podcast is we need a name for it. We don't have a name yet. So um, we're kind of opening up that to the listeners whenever they're doing it. But if you want to tell people about it a little bit in advance, maybe you'll, maybe this will air before we get our first episode out. Just have them, uh, you know, everybody out there try to come up with a really good name for our podcast for us. And you can give it to me, put it on my Facebook page or whatever you want. So. Okay. Oh, thanks. Yep, we'll be doing okay. that. Okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Well, that's it for now. And once again, feel free to contact us if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Thanks for joining us.